By the start of the 70s, a queue of pop stars were following Engelbert's lead and trying to secure themselves the most coveted trophy in showbiz, their very own television show. These name shows were the idea of band leader Billy Cotton's TV executive son. Variety theatres, if you like, had, al had always worked on the basis of having star. It was the star system, you know. Uh, and television did uh, 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 kind of follow that with uh, name shows. People like Val Dunican, uh, uh, then Cilla Black, uh, Kathy Kirby and uh, um, Tom Jones and that, all those sort of shows. And there, there was a place in entertainment for those. It was presumed in those days that being a pop singer was a short-lived career. It was assumed as being uh, slightly childish. And the Saturday night primetime television variety show was seen as a pinnacle, seen as an extraordinary accolade. It was like, now I have my own variety show. Look, I've made it. Of course, mine was quite original because th there was a lot of, you know, it was uh, a Greek European, I may say, who would come, and this was uh, also the style of songs that I was singing. Uh, they were different than others, and I was, of course, I did a lot of shows in Europe, but none of these shows uh, resembled to the ones I did here. Sister, what you call him? That's a timely idea. Something sweet and dealer would be good to my ear. Everybody must be the dancing has charm. When you have the certain one you love in your arms, stay around with you would be a sweet and tender mood. I build a life that, that would put me in the mood. I learned a lot of things, and I told him about music and about television. But I learned the joy that you have to sing with another artist and share a song. There was no competition, no, no. For you are beautiful, and I have loved you dearly, more dearly than the spoken word. 